Good evening and welcome to Evening Prayer for Monday, November the 16th. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Joyous light of glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, we have come to the setting of the sun and we look to the evening light. We sing to God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy of being praised with pure voices forever. O Son of God, O giver of life, the universe proclaims your glory. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and peace at the last. Amen. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praise to your name, O Most High, to herald your love in the morning, your truth at the close of the day. Praise to you, O Christ. O come, let us worship him. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for the evening is at hand and the day is past. Be our constant companion on the way. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope among us, that we may recognize you as you are revealed in the scriptures and in the breaking of the bread. Grant this for your name's sake. Amen. God, save me by your name, and vindicate me by your might. O God, hear my prayer. Give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen against me, ruthless men seek my life. They do not set God before themselves. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is the upholder of my life. He will return the evil to my enemies. In your faithfulness, put an end to them. With a free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will give thanks to your name, O Lord, for it is good. For he has delivered me from every trouble, and my eye has looked in triumph on my enemies. Our New Testament reading tonight is from Matthew chapter 27. When morning came, all the chief priests and the elders of the people took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. And they bound him and led him away and delivered him over to Pilate, the governor. Then when Judas, his betrayer, saw that Jesus was condemned, he changed his mind and brought back the thirty pieces of silver to the chief priests and the elders, saying, I have sinned by betraying innocent blood. They said, What is that to us? See to it yourself. And throwing down the pieces of silver into the temple, he departed, and he went and hanged himself. But the chief priests, taking the pieces of silver, said it is not lawful to put them into the treasury, since it is blood money. So they took counsel and bought with them the potter's field as a burial place for strangers. Therefore, that field has been called the field of blood to this day. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken by the prophet Jeremiah, saying, And they took the thirty pieces of silver, the price of him, of him on whom a price had been set by some of the sons of Israel, and they gave them for the potter's field, as the Lord directed me. Our first reading with Luther tonight is from Galatians 6.14. It's unthinkable that I could ever brag about anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his cross, my relationship to the world and its relationship to me have been crucified. Holding high the cross. Paul is saying here, I am foolish, a sinner and weak. I boast in my suffering. I brag that I am without the law, without works, without the righteousness that comes from the law, and finally, without anything except Christ. I want it to be this way. I am happy that I am viewed as unwise, evil, and guilty of all crimes. As Paul says to the Corinthians, so I will brag even more about my weaknesses in order that Christ's power will live in me. 2 Corinthians 12.9 For the cross of Christ has condemned everything that the world calls good, including wisdom and righteousness. As scripture says, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise, I will reject the intelligence of intelligent people. 1 Corinthians 1.19 Christ says, Blessed are you when people insult you, persecute you, lie, and say all kinds of evil things about you because of me. Matthew 5.11 So this not only means being crucified with Christ and sharing in his cross and suffering, but also bragging about it and going along joyfully with the apostles, who are considered worthy of suffering dishonor for speaking Jesus. Acts 5.41 but some seek honor, riches, and pleasure for the name of Jesus and flee contempt, poverty, and suffering. Do they brag about the cross of Christ? No. Rather, they glory in the world while using the name of Christ for appearances. They end up making a mockery of it. 
I join together in the Apostles' Creed in the Lord's Prayer. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, merciful and holy Bridegroom, we grieve the fall of your church. It is our fault that the beauty of your bride is no longer recognized. Therefore we pray you, give and increase in us faith, love, and hope in you. Root out of us all sins and vice, all strife, all disbelief, all error and heresy. Rebuke the erring, convert the unbelievers, bring the rebellious again to the unity of the Christian church, and show them the light of your truth. Protect our shepherd from all danger of body and soul. Bless all pastors and those who administer in the church and the building of your congregation. Grant them success in all things. Equip your whole church with the power and proof of the holy faith. Stand by your witnesses among the nations and further the course of your gospel in all the world. Fill all government with the fear of you and let their ruling serve to foster and preserve peace. Have mercy on our people and our country. Let the youth be brought up in discipline and in a right knowledge of you, so that they may recognize your law in the way of your salvation. Give constancy and loyalty to all pious teachers. Comfort all the troubled and sorrowful. Impart health of body and soul to the sick. Grant to all pregnant women, according to your mercy, a happy result in their childbearing. To the needy give bodily and spiritually according to your good pleasure. Let those who travel be commended to the protection of your holy angels, and be a strong help to all who need you. For the sake of your holy wounds, O Jesus. Amen. Our shorter meditation this evening is very short today, based on Psalm 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. God cares for his people. Men should individually be certain about this, that they are people of God or members of the church. Above all things, this faith is necessary, which firmly apprehends the following syllogism. The whole people of God is blessed, holy, pleasing, and acceptable to God in such a way that it cannot be torn from the hands of God. We are the people of God, therefore God exercises care for us. The major premise is eminently true, because even the death and blood of the saints are precious in the sight of the Lord. All they do and suffer is pleasing to God. On the contrary, their errors and lapses have been covered and forgiven, as Psalm 32.1 testifies. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have graciously kept me this day. And I pray that you would forgive me all my sins where I have done wrong, and graciously keep me this night. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good night.